Welcome to a fantastic new week. My name is Vida. It's absolutely a pleasure to host you today. And today we will be launching into another four part series with regards to finance. And this time around, we'll be talking about the elements of finance. And um, I don't know how many of you have watched, there's a certain cartoon series. I'm not certain I recall the name now, but when we talk about elements, we're talking about water, air, fire and earth. So we'll be starting this week and starting the conversation with regards to water. Now, water, as we say, doesn't have any enemies. One intrinsic aspect or characteristic of water is its fluidity. So whether it's a drop, a trickle or a flood, we expect that water should flow. Now, when it comes to finances, we talk about cash flow, which actually is the water of any business. Once upon a time, we used to say that cash was king, but like our operating systems, be it a Mac or be it um, a Windows, we have upgraded because we have now come to realize that cash is not actually king, cash flow is king. Cash flow is what ensures that you are able to meet your obligations as due when due. Cash flow is the lifeline of any enterprise. And like water is used in hygiene, in production, manufacturing, in catering, in agriculture, and in many other endeavors, so is cash flow also very relevant in different aspects of our lives, be it utilities, be it luxury items, be it family, be it friends, or be it emergencies. Again, not our portion, right? Yes. Anyway, so back to the conversation. It's important that in understanding your cash flow, you know and you're able to track your income and the destinations of your outgo, which is again depicting the flow and the movement of money. And so as we bring this conversation to an end right now, um, what I would say and what I would round up with is a prayer for you. That your income would far supersede your expenses. That you would have a lot more, you know, coming in and being re relevant and useful and meeting needs than a lot of expenses. My prayer for you, according to Isaiah 58, is that you and I, would be well-watered gardens, having life springs of water that are keeping us as gardens well-nourished and flourishing. So here's the first part of this series, and I look forward to sharing the rest with you in subsequent weeks. Have a fantastic week, and God bless you and your cash flow. Ciao.